Hi guys, this is Mackenzie Rummel here to talk about Bacchae. So for question one, something that I really found interesting was like the family dynamic between um, the Cadmuses and learning about that in the prologue. Um, I thought it was very interesting to learn about the relationship between Samel and Agav uh, and then their father and then the, between cousins Dion and Cadmus. Um, I also thought something interesting was the audience knowing that the stranger was actually Dionysus. Um, since we were the only ones in the play who knew that, it was kind of a cool element to know what was going on like behind the scenes. Um, for question two, um, some of the values that I thought were in the play. The first was the power struggle between Patheus and Dionysus. Um, that's my dog. Uh, Dion doesn't uh, give him information about himself and uh, Dionysus uh, kind of tricks Patheus into being led to him when Patheus thinks that he is doing what he wants and arresting people. Um, I also think the value of balances are in this play. So the balance of Dionysus when he is like the calmness of the stranger and the arrogantness of uh, himself as the god. So for question three, reading with a pencil, something that I had to look up and kind of look into was the family tree. So in the pro prologue, I understood kind of what was going on, but I needed to visualize what the family tree looked like and where everyone was kind of in alignment for that. Um, so for question four, I do think that Pentheus and Dionysus uh, see the Maenads in the same kind of light. Uh, Pentheus stated at one point that the, his women were running to the hills, so it kind of shows that he feels like he owns the women or that the women are specifically his. So um, it's kind of devaluing them and making them as possessions or something to have. Um, Dionysus uses the woman as a distraction or a toy to um, distract the people and um, it also shows that he's thinking these women are something to play with. And um, Greek women are probably treated unfairly in society. Um, they were just objects to use and to own, I guess. So question five, the Elvis cover. Um, I kind of thought that the play, the main ads kind of were like Elvis's fans, I guess. So the crazy obsession with Elvis were like the main ads towards Dionysus. And then for question six, um, two of my questions are, why do the women envision themselves fighting a lion instead of like a deer or a bear or something like that? And then my second question is, when Patheus is touched by Dionysus' madness, why does he start to see everything in double? Thanks. Bye.